Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous sessions, we have discussed about uh, what is an in instruction format and what is an instruction code. And also we have seen uh, different types of instruction codes. So in that we have seen the three categories of instruction codes. So one is a uh, memory reference instructions, register reference instructions and uh, input output instructions. So in our today's session, we'll see about memory reference instructions. memory reference instructions so here the memory is nothing but a word the data which is available in the world so uh, the data will be in terms of words right and another one is a register Another one is a register. We actually we use an accumulator, the general purpose register. So whatever the instructions we are using in this particular memory reference instructions, everything will be done on this accumulator itself. Accumulator itself. So first let us see the format. Right? So actually the format of this particular memory reference instruction. So one bit for mode. 3 bits for opcode and 12 bits for address. So we have seen these things, right? So here 0 to 11 and 12 to 14 and 15. So this is a mode. This is an instruction code. Instruction, okay, in a binary format, okay, in a binary code. Instruction binary code. And this is a address that can be the word okay the word or data whatever it may be now what are the different instructions in this memory reference so i'll write the instructions first so the first one is end so which performs the end operation between mem the word and accumulator okay word and accumulator Hope you understood right so end operation end operation applies on the word which de denoted by the address okay and then accumulator and the second one add that means it performs the addition operation in between the, the content present in the word as well as the content present in the accumulator so what about the carry so if you are performing any addition or a subtraction, whatever it may be, so we'll get some carry. So if there is a carry, what, what to be done? That carry should be moved towards the extended flip-flop E. So one bit, it will be denoted as a one bit. Okay, so E. E means extended flip-flop. Extended flip-flop. So which is used to store the carry during the add operation. So here what content will be performed in the add? The content of word and the content of accumulator. And the third one, LDA. LDA means loading. Okay, LDA means loading. So loading the instruction from the register to word. Loading the instructions from the register, the content of register to word. And similarly, STA. STA means a store which stores the content of word to the register. And then BUN, which is nothing but a branch unconditional. Branch unconditional. So that means uh, based upon the result of the condition what type of instructions to be executed that means the control flow will be divided okay so actually the control the flow of control will be a sequential so one instruction after another instruction right so if you use this bun that is a branch unconditional so based upon the condition so the instructions which are not in a sequence can also be 
executed. And the next one, branch and save. So branch and save return address. So that means if one instruction is being executed, then the address of the next instructions will be available in the program counter. So here that address of the next instruction which is available in the program counter will be loaded into the register, the accumulator. Here both are the registers. Accumulator is the register as well as the program counter is also a register. Right? So branch and save return. And the last one, ISZ. Increment if zero. Increment if zero. So if the current instruction value sets to zero, that means after incrementing the current instruction, if the return, if the if the if the value of the current instructions becomes a zero, then immediately the program counter will be get incremented. Okay. So initially the accumulator will be having some negative value. So keeps on going. It will be keeps on incrementing at one particular stage. The value of the program counter, sorry, the value of that particular register becomes zero. So once the register value becomes zero, then the program counter will be executed or incremented with one. So increment if zero. So increment the program counter if the value of accumulator is zero. So that is the instruction here. And all these are nothing but opcodes. So these positions, okay, the place, the opcodes. So these are the instructions in this category, memory reference instructions. See, here, what we are saying, opcode is a binary format of an instruction, right? So here the mode, see, zero represents the direct addressing, one represents the indirect addressing, right? So here I will write direct address and indirect address. So 12 bits represents the address. 12 bits represents the address. So in a hexadecimal format, okay, hexadecimal format, hexadecimal, these instructions will be represented in a hexadecimal. So hexadecimal means, see, complete 16 bits, 16 bits. Among that, 12 bits represents the address. So we can represent those 12 bits as x, x, x. Each x will be having 4 bits. So total, 12 bits, 12 bits and 1 bit represents the mode and 3 bits represents the opcode. So here 0 direct because it is a direct instruction uh, mode is 0, indirect the mode is 1. Now opcode, opcode 3 bits if 3 zeros and uh, 3x. That implies 12 bits plus 4. 1 represents the mode, 3 bits represents the opcode, and this represents the address. Right? Similarly, here also 0, 0, 0, x, x, x. Okay? And this one, hope you understood. 3 categories, 3 parts. One is mode, opcode, address. Mode, opcode, address. One with the direct, another one is the indirect. You can see here, zero and the code, the binary code of this add instruction is zero, zero, one and x, x, x. One, zero, zero, one, x, x, x. And load, load. So direct zero, zero, one, zero, x x x 1 0 1 0 x x x store okay storing the data into the register so address direct address 0 0 1 1 x x x okay 1 0 1 1 x x so this represents the address okay that's why we are just representing with the x Branch unconditional. The opcode for this one is one zero zero, and 
all x 1 0 0 all x and branch and save return 0 1 0 1 x 1 1 0 1 x okay and increment if 0 0 1 1 0 and x 1 1 0 and x so only this one so after that if there is any instruction then it will be 0 1 1 1 x x x and you can see this is not a memory reference instruction because if the op code is all once with the leftmost bit is 0 then it becomes a reference a register reference instructions so we have seen in our previous session right and if here come to here 1 1 1 1 x x x so if the op code is all ones and the leftmost bit is 1 it will be the input output instructions so in our memory reference instruction the op code value will be from 0 0 0 to 1 1 0 okay the op code values will be 0 0 0 to 1 1 0 that means only seven instructions will be there in our memory reference instruction see this can be written as this can be written as you can see 0 0 0 0 so all the four zeros that is 0 x x x and here 1 x x x and uh, 2 x x x And this is 3x, x, x, 4, 5, 6. So these are the direct addressing. Coming to the indirect addressing, here you can observe. So this is 1, 3, 0. That implies 8. The decimal value of this one is 8, x, x. This one is 9 x x x and this one is 10 but here in hexadecimal we are representing this with a so a x x this one is a b this one will be c d and e right so these are the direct instructions and these are the indirect mode direct mode and indirect mode so here i'll write the parts once again so this is for i this is for op code and this is for address so this is 12 bits this is 3 bits and this is 1 bit okay so 0 or 1 op code will be 0 0 0 2 1 1 0 and this will be represented with all x so that will be direct and indirect instructions so these are all these are all the instructions which comes under this memory reference instructions so here one uh, variable one operand is common that is an accumulator one operator is an accumulator so whatever the thing we are doing whatever the instructions we are executing everything will be done on the content of accumulator right so hope you understood this one so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.